Hey everyone, Steven here with uh, Corals Daily. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a while since my last video, so I thought I'd uh, just bring a little update to everyone. Uh, here's the main display tank. All the fish are being big, and uh, my wife just can't stop being impressed on how big this Tusumeri tank has come. And if you look closely, the color and the patterns are really coming in uh, for the Tusumeri. Uh, it used to be just kind of like dark and uh, black and not much to look at, but I know how beautiful they would become once they grow. So, you know, I'm always willing to gamble on them. Um, I have to flap open just to get some air exchange. And uh, right here I have my um, kind of cleaned up, revised the uh, clam tank. Uh, so I got a few of the corals here. Um, well, clams actually, there's a Maxima clam right there, a couple of squamosas, and uh, here's a squamosa that I've been having, um, I, I've had for a while, and uh, a few more uh, Maxima clams here, the lighting just looks really, really blue here, um, and then I have this uh, Gigas that used to be in the main tank, I put it in here kind of in the healing process because for some reason, it started to bit, um, develop bubbles inside the mantle tissue. Bubbles that I can see but can't pop nor touch. It's like underneath the mantle tissue. And I actually put it in the sump with low lighting and uh, low flow for like a week. And then it got better. So now I kind of put it in the corner of this tank here. It's still sufficient light for it to survive. Um, probably not thrive, but then I'm hoping that it will just kind of heal itself with the whole bubbling process um, before I put it back in the main display. And uh, a couple other updates here, you can't really see clearly, but here is my Regal Angel under the reflection. It's grown quite, quite a bit. That pair of clownfish here used to be in this tank. And I move it here, I thought it makes more sense because there's actually um, bubble tip anemone in this tank. And then I moved my um, five, uh, it's a small school of Bengay Cardinals into my Goral tank over there because I know the clowns and the Cardinals don't really get along, at least in my tank. And then lastly, this um, Japanese swallowtail Angel fish is actually starting to change gender. It's transitioning from female to male. If you can look at the back, you can kind of see it starting. So even though there's not another female directly in this habitat, I do have a female in here. But um, the, t the one time I tried to put that female back here, this one really beat up the other one. So I had to separate them again. Um, anyways, that's it for the update for today. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions. I'm happy to discuss anything aquarium, especially uh, saltwater and reef tank with you. And uh, when, um, when I probably post next time, I'll probably have a little bit update as I am in the process of um, securing a couple more clams from um, clammania.ig. Uh, go check out his tank. Uh, he has like 20,000 clams in his system. So some of the most beautiful livestock you can ever find. So highly recommended, uh, super good service. All right, thank you. I'll talk to you guys later.